Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Boy, I got a big ass cup of this shit. What up, my dudes? MX bikes is even easier than the last time that I played it, which was almost a year ago. <laughs> the game is even easier now, dog. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how many MX Bikes boys I can get round up in this video. You know, engagement equals dollars for Spency boy. You know what I'm saying? The more mad y'all boys get for me just telling the truth about the game, the more money that I make. It's insane, but you know, life is great, boys. <laughs> I tell you what. So today, I'm going to be telling you guys the truth about MX Bikes. Some people just don't want to believe it. Some people don't know any better. Some people purposely choose not to believe the truth about it. It's insane. Some people do fully understand it, but there's a lot of people out there that just, they, they just can't grasp this or they just don't want to understand it. I don't know what it is, but I'm just telling you, this is the truth about the game, okay? Listen, MX Bikes is not even a full-blown simulator. <laughs> it is an arcade simulator hybrid. It's been that way from day one, and it's still that way to this day. <laughs> it is not complicated. It's very simple to understand. It's just a lot of you guys have gotten tricked up into the graphics of the game. You've gotten tricked up into the realistic first-person camera settings of the game that looks like helmet cam GoPro footage of the game when the reality of it is the actual physics of the game does not have the same level of realistic inertia and bike movement and difficulty to the game that a full-blown motocross simulator has to have. Listen, bro, I don't have any problem with MX bikes. I don't have any problem with if you like MX bikes better than MX simulator. I don't have any problem with the game being easier than MX simulator. I don't have any problem with it being an arcade sim hybrid. The whole entire problem that I have is when these certain MX Bikes fanboys try to make the game seem like it's something that it's not. That's what I have a problem with. They try to make it seem like it's this next level, hardcore, realistic simulator, and it's like on a whole nother level than MX Simulator, and MX Simulator is just so outdated, and the physics are not as realistic as MX Bikes. That's just a straight up bold face lie, bro. I've been around these moto games. I've played the absolute shit out of these moto games. I'm telling you right now, that is simply not true. MX Bikes is a cool game. It's a, you know, good graphic. Got a lot of options on it. Got a lot of cool different new elements to it. I think the terrain deformation system is better on MX bikes than MX simulator. It's got a lot of cool shit. But in that particular category of realistic physics inertia to the game, you know, the whole point of a simulator, the whole reason why you would play a simulator, that is simply the aspect where... MX Bikes is not more of a simulator than MX Simulator. It's just simply not. It is not the most realistic dirt bike motocross gaming experience. It is not. For some of you that are saying, Spence, you're not even going that fast. You're not even that good. I'm pro at MX Bikes, dude. You couldn't hang, dog. Even though you're top five in the hardest dirt bike game, MX Simulator, you couldn't hang with me on MX Bikes. Yeah, dog, I've not even been playing the game, like, at all. Uh, at all. It has almost been an entire year. 
it blows my mind, dogs. It literally blows my mind how long I can go without even touching MX bikes and come back to it. And I swear to Pastrana, like lap two on the Supercross track, I'm going around it like it ain't shit, bro. I'm going around it like I'm Hayden Deegan scrubbing the bike over, hitting quad jumps. We're talking like no time into the game, dude. We're talking like my setup was made for the older OEM bikes and I don't even think it was a good setup to begin with and that's what I'm still running. <laughs> this is not like I've been testing in the game and I've been sweating on the game and really playing the game. This is like I just hopped on here one day random little Sunday stroll. Oh yeah, we'll try out MX bikes again real quick. And it's just like right away going around the track like I, like I never quit playing the game. It's simply easier than what a full blown dirt bike simulator would be. And it's just that simple. That's all there is to it. Listen, bro, I've been known for being the truth teller since day one. People get mad at the truth, and that's just the truth, man. All you gotta do to see the arcadey elements of the physics of MX bikes is to go look at the gameplay in third person. <laughs> this is very simple. Go look at the gameplay in third person, and if you can't see the arcadey elements of the game, when you look at the gameplay in third person, then you probably shouldn't have an opinion on moto games. I hate to break it to you, but it's obvious with MX bikes. I mean, you can see it. It tricks a lot of y'all boys up into thinking that it's the most realistic simulator or it's the most advanced next level, you know, realism dirt bike video game. That's just simply not true with MX bikes. And the difficulty element of it is just another element that describes that. It's just another example of that. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, bro, MX Bikes is harder than Reflex. It's harder than Legends. It's harder than all of those other arcade dirt bike games. But it's about maybe one fourth of the difficulty of MX Simulator, you know, the simulator, you know, the benchmark that you gauge anything that's trying to be a simulator, you would gauge that to MX Simulator. You know, when you're looking at MX Simulator's gameplay in third person or you're seeing somebody pass you on a track, it actually looks somewhat realistic. The inertia and the movements and the, the actual the weight of the bike and the inertia when they're whipping and scrubbing and all that on MX Simulator looks so much more like a real life dirt bike than MX Bikes does in third person. That's the whole point. When you get it in third person, you can actually see the physics for what they are. No wonder a lot of you MX Bikes boys try to tell everybody to just play it in first person, bro. You don't want to see the gameplay of MX Bikes in third person, dude. You don't want to see all that. Yeah, because it exposes the actual arcadey nature of the physics. Oh, Spitzy boy hitting him with that work, boy. We're hitting him with that truth, boy. So, you know, to all of you guys that can admit that bikes is an arcade sim hybrid and it's not a full-blown simulator, I don't have any problem with you. I don't have any problem at all. You can go play MX Bikes. You can go have fun in the game. It's all good, bro. And, and there has been a lot of you MX Bikes boys that can admit that element of MX Bikes. But there's also a whole nother ass clown group of guys out there that are tricking you. They are literally scamming you to try to make you think that this is the most hardcore, realistic dirt bike experience that you can have in a video game. Meanwhile, it's literally a arcade simulator hybrid. It's not even a full-blown simulator, dog. It's just not, man. It's just not, man. Let me give you another little example here. When I play MX Bikes, it feels like I am levitating above the ground. It feels like my bike is hovering three inches above the ground 
all the way around the track. Like it never feels like I'm fully connected to the ground or I'm fully on the ground like MX Simulator does. MX Simulator has more of a physical inertia weight system to it when you're going around the track, aka that's why I say that bikes has more of that arcadey feeling. It's got more of that easiness to it. Because of that arcadey feeling, that's what creates that easiness, okay? MX Bikes is like you mixed Reflex and MX Simulator together, then you totally understand what I'm saying. But there's a lot of you goofballs that just don't want to admit the truth. You just don't want to accept the truth because it puts MX Bikes in this other category separate from MX Simulator and that just kills your soul because you want MX Bikes to take over and kill MX Simulator. But the fact of the matter is, is it's an entirely different type of motocross game. That's just the truth of it. You can sit there till your blue purple perp skirt in the face talking about all these bells and whistles on MX bikes and it's got this feature and it's got these graphics and it's got this shit. Yeah, but it's not even a full-blown simulator. So that's cool and all. All of those features that you're talking about is cool and all, but it's not even a full-blown motocross simulator. And I don't know how much more I can prove than me not even playing the fucking game for a year, and then I hop back in here and I start quadding around a supercross track like it's nothing. I start going through the most difficult whoop section of 2023 pro aerial supercross tracks like they're nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not the fastest guy on MX bikes. Yeah, I'm not a pro on MX bikes. I barely even play the fucking game, though. I shouldn't even be, like with the amount that I play MX bikes, I shouldn't even be able to get around a supercross track at all if it was a full-blown simulator. You see what I'm saying? And to some of you that that you just can't feel that arcadey nature to MX bikes, I don't know what to tell you other than the fact that you just can't feel what arcadey feeling is to a dirt bike game. That's all I know to tell you about that. If you can't see it when you're looking at the gameplay in third person, or you can't see it when another rider is coming around you on a track and they're scrubbing the bike, have you ever noticed how that doesn't look realistic on MX bikes? Yeah, it does look realistic compared to some random arcade moto game, like a milestone game, of course but it doesn't look realistic when you compare it to MX Simulator or real life dirt bikes going around a track, okay? So I just simply believe that riding a real life dirt bike, especially on a full blown supercross track is simply just way more difficult than what MX bikes portrays it being. That's why it's not a full-blown simulator. Difficulty and arcadiness and realism go hand in hand, bro. A lot of you try to look for any excuse, any random little thing to try to make it seem like MX Bikes is actually a full-blown simulator. It's just not, man. I've been the truth teller since day one. Don't get mad at me just for telling the truth, bro.